Hi, JJ members, Sean Foley here at Foley Performance Academy here to discuss the third step in our process. All right, and as you can see here, I have the Buddha and an arrow pointing to the word accept. So look, I went through my thinking, it's definitely a seven iron. All right, it's a seven iron, I'm gonna play a mid-flight draw. I've now asked myself a great, a, a great question, what does a great shot look like? I've let that question create my awareness and my intention, okay? So I have to have an intent. And then I've executed with freedom. Now, the only thing I have left to do is accept it. All right, so we've seen players get upset. We've seen players not react. But this is the big part. Acceptance is one's ability to accept the outcome of their conviction and just move on. And there's nothing else to do. I mean, at this point, if I pick seven iron, I've tried to hit my flighted draw, and I've hit it to three feet. I accept that, okay? It doesn't mean I start thinking about the three footer. I just accept what I've done. If I hit it in the front bunker, I accept that as well. So what happens is you guys have to remember that thoughts are connected neurologically to chemicals. So when people start thinking in a certain way, then they start to tax their either emotional centers or not. So I know some players say when they get angry, it helps spur them on. But for the most part in my career, and I've watched competitive golf for over 20 years from very close, I've not really seen angry players really achieve success over a long period of time. Sure, there's that one time they make a bogey, they get angry, and they birdie the next three holes, and someone says they just needed to light a fire under themselves. Uh, I don't think that's accurate. I think that in this acceptance part, look, I practice hard, I train hard, I try to eat well, try to sleep well. I've done these two steps as well as I can. I've let go of it and just went ahead and executed the shot as best I know how or as my brain knows how. Now the only thing I have left to do is accept. So what happens when people don't accept, they either stay in the past or the future. So if they can't accept what happened, they think, well, gosh, I wish I should have hit six. I wish I should have done that. Sometimes that discussion starts as they walk to the next shot and they never really get out of that discussion. I've even watched guys hit a shot in the water, then drop the ball, hit it on the green, and then stand on the green and as someone else is putting, they're still sitting there with their head down, shaking their head, because they're still back 15 minutes ago. So it's very difficult to be aware and precise in the moment, and on that next shot, rerun these steps if I haven't got through this one yet. And also what happens when players don't accept what's occurred, they can start thinking, well, on the next shot, what's gonna happen if I do that again? So there's really nothing to learn from the past or the future. The future is going to ultimately get me into a place of anxiety and tension. And when my mind is busy, I'll be stressed out. And then the ability, the inability to accept what occurred and throw me into the past, past is just gonna bring up sadness and guilt. So guilt, shame, apathy are awful frequencies of energy for human beings. So is anxiety and tension and wondering what may happen next. What's gonna happen next will come from your ability to run this process all over again. So I know people find it funny on TV and they just think that pros have two or three answers, but every time a player is interviewed on TV, they talk exactly about this. It's not the same for everyone. Everyone's process is different, but the ones that I've seen that work the best allow the player to get into a point of conviction where he can go ahead and execute what he needs to do is they've thought it out exactly what it is. You see the pros on TV, they've got their yardage book, you wouldn't believe the amount of notes that these guys have in it. For example, last week at Augusta at the Masters, a lot of the players and caddies got together two or three or four hours before their round to make sure that they were on the same page with how they wanted the game plan, what they did. The game plan is very necessary, but you still have to have the ability to adapt on a dime to what's going on with other wind conditions, rain, what happened. So, thinking, painting, creating, executing, accepting, and moving on. So remember, in, in golf, you're only as good as your last shot. And every single shot that you have that day is an opportunity for you to do something 
uh, that you've never done before. So the fact is, if you get too much into the future of what may happen or what has happened, because you're only being aware of those two things, when you're in that moment, it's going to hinder your performance totally.